What do you think someone is saying to Wolf Blitzer with his face like that? What do you think? There's the, I think I think they're describing a horror in a Palestine. That's what I think. Former APEC member. We got to make a sad Wolf Blitzer like meme for this. We, when you show the thing, just cut to him like, <laughs> "Hello, darkness." Look at his eyes. Friend. What? Are, so let's play it. He really looks like a South Park character. He, he really does. Yes. Brown face, no neck, big eyes. He looks like a South Park character. And. And I'm so I think the headline of this is going to be how did this make it onto CNN? Let's watch. Off roads corralled the media into one location. Um, oh, they're talking about why why you may not see Palestinians celebrating family members return in this hostage exchange, and this is what. This is why. Off roads corralled the media into one location, um, brought the Palestinians in uh, through the back door when they received them, and then only allowed family members to come in very limited single file in individual cars. And there's a reason for that. Because unlike uh, the images of celebration, where you, which you might have seen from Ramallah and the West Bank, here in East Jerusalem, Israeli authorities were better able to enforce the diktat of their far-right national security minister, who has, who has deemed the prisoners released today as terrorists. But not just that. He said any Palestinian who celebrates will themselves be charged as terrorists. I mean, just to break down, Break, break that down a little bit. There is no grounds to call them terrorists because by Israel's own reckoning, those 39 pr prisoners were uh, 15 minors, 10 of whom were only charged, and 24 women, 23 were, sorry, were detained, not charged, and 10 of the minors were detained, not charged. It's, it complicates telling this story. So imagine your daughter has come home to you and you have to hide indoors to express your joy. I want to show you this video, Wolf, of a, a daughter reuniting with her mother that was sent to us by the family. Take a listen. <laughs> That young lady you see there, the reason, I mean, I can't, there's no reason, it's her daughter, but beyond that, uh, she had been arrested at the age of 16, uh, convicted at 17 for 10 years, accused of uh, attempted stabbing her family and her lawyer and Israeli and Palestinian rights groups say that this was a miscarriage of justice. Her family had taken this all the way to the Israeli Supreme Court and her mother had. So, again, let's play the, the game. What do you think he's hearing? <laughs> when he has that look on his face. Uh, so uh, let me let me go throw it to our resident Jew, Keaton. Keaton, go ahead and respond to that. There are proxy in the region. As RFK said, there are aircraft carriers. Joe Biden said if there was not an Israel in the Middle East, we would have to invent one. That's why we support Israel. It has nothing to do with democratic values or American values or Western liberal values. This is a police state. She's not allowed to celebrate outside that her daughter is home. Um, it's just one more example of the narrative falling to pieces. Wolf Blitzer was one of the first people uh, to actually challenge the IDF. I think you guys covered that on your show. Yeah. I know we did. He was one of the first people to actually push the IDF guy about casualties, right? Oh, so you're saying you knew that uh, there were hundreds of uh, people in this refugee camp and you decided to bomb it anyway to get to the one Hamas commander that you said was there? He was one of the first. And I can't explain why, like you said, former APAC guy. Uh, but, um, you know, this, this is really... Th th this this whole episode is really revealing a lot about a lot of things, including the United States media um, and the fact that you're starting to see some some cracks in in the armor here is uh, significant. But this is just one more example of the true face of Israel showing itself The you know, the, this is our proxy in the Middle East because we need force in the middle east this has nothing to do with it being the only democracy in the middle east okay kurt nothing um I it's just even a human zero like wolf blitzer 
who's got to report on how crazy Putin is all this time and all the atrocities. <laughs> yeah, Even a oh, exactly. Husk, a, just a hollowed out. That that's a tough one to reconcile. It's got to be to hear we blow up four hundred people to get one guy after you've been going on and on, going on all the wokey things and all the sensitive liberal whatever, and all of a sudden it's uh, <laughs> all of our eyes should be red, and, and he's really got to sit there and have that uh, Paul Simon, you know, yeah. Simon and Garfunkel song in his head right now. <laughs> well, now the New York Times is saying, like I said, twice as many women and children dead in Gaza as have been killed in Ukraine in the past two years. And Ukraine so has women on the front line. Cognitive distance, right? <laughs> Ukraine's making women well, fight and it's less of them yeah. dead. Yeah. So, Keaton, what's your theory on why uh, the New York Times, CNN are actually starting to turn and tell truths about uh, Israel. What? What? What do you? What do you make of that? I think the evidence is so in people's faces now that they can't really hide this from the libs anymore. Because don't forget, CNN, New York Times, liberals read this, and it's it's very easy to lie to liberals about ninety nine percent of things. It's easy to <laughs> lie to liberals about Ukraine. It's easy to lie to liberals about COVID. It's easy to lie to liberals about January sixth. Right? Something that's this in your face, even a liberal. Even a dumb as dog shit liberal sees a baby with its face blown in half and says, that shouldn't be happening, right? And so I think that's why. I think they realize that their consumers at the end of the day are libs and this information is too visceral and too clear to, to, to spin to even the dumbest media consumers in America, which are Biden voting shit libs. That's how that's how horrible Israel is, that even the libs can figure out how horrible they are. Wow. And that's honestly what, what I think that that that's the only thing that makes sense to me, because Ukraine, you had to know a little bit. Right. Right. COVID, you had to know a little bit. What is COVID? It's 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 biochemistry. It's little viral things you can't see. It's easier to tell someone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This you can't. We're doing live comedy shows in Oxnard, California, Venice, California, Palmdale, California, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Michigan, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, and Boston. Plus, we're going to put a date in Edmonton, Canada, plus Vancouver. See ya. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm -hmm.